Mike, many congratulations into the final. Your smile says it all. Just sum up how you're feeling for us right now. Um, I'm over the moon. I'm so happy to get through. Um, I always find it difficult playing Dimitri. Um, well, it, tonight it looked like he thinks it's difficult playing me as well. He missed a lot of starting doubles and, and um, after the second set I kind of grew into the game and, and got a lot better. So yeah, I'm, I'm over the moon. You touched on growing into the game. You started so well in your previous games. Were there mm. extra nerves and, and butterflies up there being the semi-finals tonight? Not really butterflies, I was just nervous. I was really, really nervous because everyone's been talking about me and Dimitri playing against each other. and. A lot of people have been saying, yeah, Dimitri's going to smash him. And then on the other side, Mike is going to smash him. So I'm, I'm trying to block it all out. But um, yeah, it, it's, it's still a factor that you take um, with you on stage. So the first one, two, maybe the third set as well, I was really nervous. But I kind of relaxed after that. So I'm, I'm happy. I want to take something that you said in your post. Um, actually, you don't like the limelight and don't want the limelight. But if you keep producing performances like this, keep getting to these major finals, it's something that you're not going to be able to avoid, is it? Because you're becoming a star very quickly. I'll put on a mask so <laughs> you guys can interview someone else then. <laughs> How are you going to deal with that, though, if you don't like that side of the game? Well, it's like you say, it's part of it, so I'll, I'll have to get used to it. I asked you this yesterday and you said, no, now are you dreaming because you're only one game from glory. No, no, <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Mike, many congratulations. Thank you. Mike, just tell us what it would mean if you were to go all the way tomorrow night. It would mean the world. Um, Dimitri is the only Belgian player that has won a major before. So me being maybe being the second would, would, would mean the world, yeah. Which areas do you feel you need to improve on tonight? My nerves. Um, the first three games, it was all right. And today... With all the attention and me and Dimitri being both Belgians, um, it kind of got to me the first two sets. So, um, but I got away with it. I took the second set and then relaxed. So, but tomorrow it, it has to be better. And that win also puts you in the Grand Slam. So already getting to the finals, opening doors for you. Yeah, that's a good thing. It's a day less in Wigan. So, um, <laughs> a day early I can go home. I'm, I'm over the moon, yeah. You're welcome. Mike, what were your expectations coming into this week in Melbourne? Well, Dimitri's always been a stage player. Um, so, uh, I didn't think I was going to win. Because he always can do something extra on stage. Um, but, like I said before, I'm happy, I'm through, and then on to tomorrow. What were the expectations at the start of the tournament from round one? getting through that and now you're obviously in the final the experts just winning my first game mm. um, I lost first round against Joe Cullen and I didn't want to repeat that so when I won my first game against Damon Hetta I was I was over the moon already <laughs> and now I'm in the final we know you have no preference for who you face Ryan or Luke but who, who are you expecting to be the expecting yeah Luke um, he's a massive favorite um, <laughs> He's been a phenomenal player for the last 18 months. Um, so, probably Luke, yeah. Mike, when we spoke to Dimitri yesterday, he said that Luke Humphries isn't the favourite to lift this trophy. You are because of how well you've played. Do no, you feel no. like that? No, Luke will always be the favourite. Um, especially the way he's been playing after the Worlds and before the Worlds. Um, no, no, no. Luke will, be, will always be the massive favourite. We know Dimitri's not been feeling well the past two days. Is that something on your mind, knowing that you kind of want to keep away from him because you want to be in tip-top shape headed into tomorrow's final? No, because final. I had a cold the last two days as well. That's what it's gone. No, no, no. I still have it a little bit. My nose is blocked at times. But, well, it's something you have to deal with, and, and it's part of life. Like, um, this is a job, and, and if you have a normal 9 to 5, and you have a bit of an, uh, a blocked nose, you still have to go to work. So this is the same. There could be so much on the line tomorrow, of course, as lifting the trophy. Coming with that could be a potential World Cup debut and also potentially a Premier League spot. Is it difficult just to focus on that one match in hand when there's all these other things that may be attached to that? I'm not even thinking about uh, Premier League or, or stuff like that. Um, I'm 
probably top 30 of the world now, and yeah. Premier League is top eight. So I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not thinking about Premier League now. Mike, huge welcome well today. Thank, Thank you. you. Mike, if it is uh, Luke tomorrow, do you think that would almost take a bit of pressure off your shoulders with him being the heavy favourite and maybe people overlooking you? Yeah, yeah, probably would. Um, they'll expect Luke to win, so the pressure will be off me. Um, but yeah, um, I'd rather have Luke because he's a quicker player than Ryan. So um, to get a quick, quick game, um, a fun game to watch, I'll, I'll rather have Luke. And we saw you really engage with that crowd today. <laughs> they absolutely love an underdog, so I think tomorrow, if it is Luke especially, they'll be heavily on your side. Mm -hmm. Is that something you're looking forward to? Or maybe you yeah, yeah. I'm looking advantage? forward to my walk on again because they really love that. So, yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward. Perfect. Congratulations. Thank you. See you tomorrow.